Hello job seekers, Melanie here with CGO Recruiting. And today's video is gonna be talking about your LinkedIn banner. Now, if you have not been utilizing this space to help you with your job search, you might wanna rethink that. There are some amazing things that job seekers are doing utilizing this banner section to catch the attention of those individuals looking at their profile. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to do that now. It really does help our channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you feel like this information is helpful, give us that thumbs up in the end as it really also helps our channel. Okay, so this banner section on LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn does have a basic blue banner that they do give you at the top. But if you're just using that, you are seriously wasting valuable real estate on your LinkedIn profile. Now, there are lots of ways that you can upload photos to this area. You can do it photos from your phone. You can do it photos from PowerPoint. You can do it from all kinds of different software. But there is one that is out there that has really made this easy, and that is Canva. It's a very easy site to go to. Um, I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. They have lots of different photos that are pre-uploaded there, and it is free for the basic version. So you can utilize it like crazy for total free, or if you decide you really want to do something snazzy for your profile or for your business page, whatever, you can utilize it for a variety of different other options. So I'm gonna go in and show you Canva Live and we'll talk about it. Now I do wanna say when we're looking at the different pictures that are in Canva, my recommendation for you for a banner is to include words. Now nothing you put in this area is gonna be keyword searchable by any of LinkedIn recruiters search filters, but Pictures are great for drawing attention and then you can reinforce either the type of position you're looking for, the skills that you're looking for. There are people that are truly doing amazing things like salespeople showing graphs with the sales going up. There are people that are in engineering that are putting great, like if they're a gear engineer or valve engineer or actuators putting pictures that apply to their career. There's some people that are even using it for industries. Like if you're in the automotive industry, having vehicles or vehicle parts up there. If you're in the oil and gas, having something that relates to that. So think outside the box on this as to put your graphic design hat on, what would draw somebody's attention? Okay, let's go into Canva system and I'll try to walk you through one, how to use that system very easily. And then I'll show you how to actually change that background on your LinkedIn profile. Let's go right from the Canva homepage. All you need to do is go into this main bar and type in LinkedIn, and you should see LinkedIn banner come up as one of the suggested items. When you click on it, it's then going to bring up a whole group of options of different banners that you can utilize. Now you do need to be careful every once in a while you come across one that is not free. So you wanna make sure you do choose one of the ones that is free unless you are truly willing to pay for the more in-depth Canvas system. So let's go ahead and choose this one. How about right here? Now don't worry about the other text that you see that appears up here on this site. You can very easily highlight it and delete any part of it. You can even take any of the different elements and make them bigger or smaller depending on what you're wanting to do with your text. Now once you actually have chosen the different one, you can add all kinds of elements to it like different text items. You can add a heading, a subheading, or other different bullets and things that you may wanna do. Now I'm gonna show you one that I've already created and I've done this one to show you a variety of different text sizes. So in this case, I've got human resource executive and then I have these four bullets with four different size texts with the bottom one even being bulleted. I'd like to show you what this actually looks like when you load it in to your LinkedIn profile so you'll understand that size of text does matter. Now to save this banner, what you do need to do is go up to file and then save it to a folder. And if you don't have one created, it is going to make you create one at this point in time. And that's very easy. You just create a new folder name and I can call it anything I want to. And that will add that by just hitting the enter key to that folder. 
Now, once you do that, you also need to do a second step, which is to download this. And you can download it as a PNG file and it will download directly to your computer. So then you're able to upload it into LinkedIn. It's gonna try to get you to upload to premium again. You don't need to do this unless you truly want to. Okay, let's go into LinkedIn now and load in that banner. Now, this is the standard banner that LinkedIn has for you. It's kind of the default. When you click on this little camera icon, or you may see a blue pencil here if you've already placed some kind of banner there. When you click on it, LinkedIn does have a group of different backgrounds that they do have for different events throughout the year or different things going on in the world. And they do a really good job of adjusting these depending on what's happening. But you can actually upload the one that you just created as well. So I'm gonna go in and choose, which is this blue and white professional banner. And there you can see it. Now it does give me the option to reposition it a little bit. So I'm gonna position it up and then apply. Now, once this banner is in here, you're gonna get a better understanding of the size of the text. And this is very important because there's no sense having a banner up here if you can't read the text. So this one that's down here, the bottom of the four bullets, this is at an 18 bold. I do not recommend you go any less than an 18 bold. The reason for that is it just gets too small. What you're looking at right now, I have on a pretty big screen, which is the only reason I can see it. Any less than the 18 bold, they just get hidden. I wanna go back into Canva and show you how to adjust the size of that text in case you do have it very small. Now remember, I have this blue box. If it's too small in the banner that you chose, just make it bigger. It's very easy. You can adjust almost anything in this system. The same with the text boxes. It's very easy for me to make them bigger. And then on the text here below, do the same thing. Now for this uh, situation I'm showing you right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of these up to even bigger. I'm gonna make them like a 32, maybe a little too big. Let's try like a 24 bold. And let me make this last one also. I'm gonna do this as a 24 bold as well. So it all shows together. Now again, I can even, if I wanted to make these a different color, that is an option that I have as well. I can underline in italics, I can change the format, I can add different bullets, anything I wanna do. So once I've made these changes, I'm just gonna go through the same process of saving this and then I do have to go through the process again of downloading a new copy. If I don't download a new copy, then it's going to end up being the same. Download, preparing my design, and there it is. Okay, let's go back into LinkedIn and apply this new banner. So remember last time when we were in here, we saw the little um, camera icon. This time we see this little pencil because we have actually already have something in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the photo. I'm gonna upload the photo that we just adjusted and it's gonna load it in. Now I do have some ability in LinkedIn to reposition the photo, but it is not a lot. You can see I can just barely move it, but there is some if you do need to adjust a little bit. And you can see what a difference the bigger text makes. Now, I still don't love the way that this looks. I would actually um, play with this a lot more, but for now, let me just kind of show you what it does look like. There you can see, see how much bigger this shows compared to the last one? That's gonna show up so nicely on different screens and even, even on the mobile version, which is what you're wanting to do. Now, I do wanna show you one other thing that you do have to keep in mind when you're creating a banner here. Let me show you, um, I'm gonna upload a different photo, and this is just one that I have for my company, CGL Recruiting. And I wanna show you what it actually does that may not be the best for you um, if you're not keeping this in mind. Let me upload our generalized. Now this looks great as a background photo here, but let me show you what happens when I apply it. There we go. You see how the picture, the circle, you have to keep it in mind that it goes over top of this part of the picture. 
So play with this a little bit. You can change this as many times as you want. So in the case of this one here, this may be a time when I do want to make sure I reposition the picture in order to make sure that it's not getting my other picture in the way and obscuring part of this web address. So I told you it was easy. <laughs> it's incredibly easy to utilize this software to change your background. And something that I would even say for those of you that are in a longer job search process, there's nothing wrong with changing your background on a regular basis. If you're targeting different things, if you realize the same with your resume that you wanna tweak different things, this is so easy to do for you to change and adjust it anytime that you want to. All right, job seekers, I hope this information was helpful for you. If you have questions, please put them down in the comments below or tell me what have you put in your banner that you think others can learn from where it's really helped you land that next role. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.